I'm going to show you today how to use these knowledge quiz books. I've got a selection of them with me. I've got foundation maths, I've got chemistry, but what I'm going to revise today I think is going to be biology. Now all of the books have the same setup that once you've got past the title page it tells you how to use this book. We're going to look at it now. Then you turn over and it's got a contents page. So just looking at what it says and how to use this book, start with section one and we're going to look at the answer key and it goes bit by bit it tells you how to use the section tracker and I'm going to go through model for you how to use this bit um, this book bit so the first thing I do is turn over and I'm going to start with section one as it tells me and I've got here the answer key now it's not cheating what the best thing to do is to go through and read the questions and the answer key this is especially important for me because I haven't studied biology since 1992 so what I'm going to do now is just read through for myself um, the questions and the answers. So what are the differences between a prokaryote and a eukaryote? So prokaryotes do not contain a nucleus whereas eukaryotes do, okay. Prokaryotes have a cell wall, eukaryotes do not. Find common features of a plant and animal cell. Cell membranes, cell walls and plants, cellulose. State why prokaryotes do not contain membrane bound organelles. Membrane bound organelles are too large to fit in prokaryote. Okay, so the stuff that I do remember is coming back to me. So now I've read it through, I'm going to turn over to do the first quiz. There's a tracker there for when I've finished. So with my pen, I'm going to do it in pen because I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to start my test. So what are the differences between a prokaryote and a eukaryote? So I'm going to use my. So P has a cell wall and nucleus. Nucleus. The E does not. Five common features of a plant and cell animal wall. Okay, I think it's cell membrane nucleus uh, mitochondria. Um, cytoplasm and ribosomes, that's the one I don't really know what they are. Okay, three feature structures that a plant cell contains and animal cell does not. Okay, so I think it's cell wall. And there's two others, I can't remember them, I'm going to come back to them. Function of nucleus, so I think that contains genetic material. Um, not sure, okay, so cell wall controls what goes in and out. No, cell membrane controls what goes in and out. I don't know if it has another part to it, we'll find out. Function of cytoplasm. Can't remember that. Function of mitochondria. Now is this about energy or respiration? Uh, I'm going to come back to that. Ribosomes. So this was about um, protein synthesis and producing new protein. Function of a permanent vacuole. Oh, is this the one that contains cell sap and um, water? Is water in there? What's like a backup? Don't know about that. Function of chloroplast. So this contains chlorophyll. chlorophyll and aids photosynthesis as a result. Can't be sure. What would you oh no this one. This one's cellulose. Remember that. State why prokaryotes do not contain because the membrane bound organelles are too big. Pretty sure about that. Okay, function of cytoplasm. One of them is to do with respiration and energy. So I'm gonna put sight of What's the function of cytoplasm? I don't know, it reminds me of Ghostbusters. Is that, uh, uh, that's ectoplasm. Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I've done the test. So now I've done the test, there's no point trying to cheat. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the answers. So they do not contain, oh, I got that the wrong way around. So they do have a cell wall, but they don't have a nucleus. Ah, so the nucleus. So one has one, one has the other. So I got that wrong. So cell membrane, yes. Cytoplasm, yes. Ribosomes, yes. Nucleus, mitochondria, excellent. 
so I've got to sell all. Now I'm going to write in in a separate colour actually because that will mean that the stuff I didn't know jumps out to me. So I will unvacuum all. So, function of the nucleus contains genetic material. Yeah, O oh, controls activities of the cell. So let's say that's half. Um, function of the cell membrane. Um, controls what goes in and out. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to say that that's right, but I need to use the word substances because it's a bit imperfect there. Okay, so it contains all the organogals, or organelles. I'm just going to write organelles to remind me. And site of many chemical reactions. Okay, so that was a rubbish answer. So site of respiration and where energy released. So protein synthesis and where new proteins are made. Should have finished that sentence, but I know that. Cell sap, O oh, and enzymes. Oh, I can store excess water, yeah. Filled with chlorophyll. It's where photosynthesis happens, what aids it, sight of, and absorbs light. Cellulose, yep, yeah, they're too big to fit in there, so I'm going to give myself that. So I'm going to say, got that, didn't get that, no, half, give myself half, no, not really, yeah, mm, half, mm, Half, yes, yes. Science team will probably be having kittens watching this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to fill in my tracker now. So it is the 10th of February. And I got what did I just say? One, two, three, four. I got six out of 12. So, well, that's not appalling given how long it is since I studied biology. It's really not good enough. But it doesn't matter. I don't need to feel disappointed. It's just a starting point. And I've gone through. I've got some. I've made it clear to myself about what I didn't know. So I'm pretty good on some of them. Well, I got them right. But it's really clear on others that it just hasn't gone in. So what happens next in the book is I've got this same quiz. Second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time. Now... It doesn't mean that you run out and do all six quiz quizzes in the next six days. Um, I'm going to leave it a little while until I do se the second one. In fact, some of the books are really good. They've got quiz A and quiz B, where quiz B is the same questions as quiz A, but in a slightly different order. So you can't just learn the order of the answers. So in terms of what a good spacing is, so say it was 50 days until your exam. I'd say it's probably about 70 days until most of your exams, actually. So here's day one. I've done quiz one. Um, day three, quiz one again. So I'm not going to do this tomorrow. And so it's Monday, so I reckon on Wednesday is when it would be good for me to do this quiz a second time. And then, when am I going to do um, the, th the third time? Probably doing that on again on next Sunday or Monday would be a good time to do it. And as you can see from this, the gaps between re-quizzing are growing. Now, this is just section one. This is just the first quiz. I've done that on the 10th. So I've started that. I have not achieved 100% yet. So um, there's other sections as well. So I, although I'm, I'm doing this quiz, I'm not doing it till Wednesday, I can start something else. It doesn't mean that I am only doing revising biology six times. It means this specific section one cell structure and function quiz I'm going to do six times and I'm going to space it out with increasing pauses between them. So I'm going to pick something else tomorrow to do because I'm not doing anything on day two. Um, I mean communicable diseases appeals to the hypochondriac in me so I might then turn to section nine because I'm interested in that or I think I'm good at it and I would start again. I'd read my answers and I'd start doing the quiz. It might be there are some topics, as is usually the case in subjects where you feel more confident than others. And it could be for test one, um, say you're really, really confident with communicable diseases, you could just go straight in cold to doing the quiz and seeing what you do know and then referring to the answers. You could do it that way. You could do it in a logical way, I'm sure. 
that all these build on each other in a sensible way. So you could just go straight to section two actually and start a section two quiz on day two. Because this doesn't mean, as I said again, you only do six quizzes over the next 50, 60 days. Days two and four, five and six and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 and 13, you're also doing a quiz probably, but it's either in a different subject within this or it's a different subject entirely. My point is, for the next six days, I am not doing this quiz six times. I'm leaving big gaps between it. Um, and I'm gonna fill in my log, so I'm gonna see where my points are getting better and better. And on this, what I'm also going to do is, I really don't understand what this means, function of ribosomes and protein synthesis. So I'm gonna highlight that, because although I can learn and answer parrot fashion, I don't understand it and I've highlighted it that I need to go to a biology teacher and say look can you explain what it means about protein synthesis because these books are excellent because they really do test and retest knowledge that you've got there some of your exams you do just need to reproduce the knowledge but a lot of your exams you're going to need to apply it um, but you can't apply it if you can't recall it so this is the first stage and it's a really important stage but you also need to make sure that the underlying understanding is there so you're not just parroting words as well. So that's my first quiz, that's mine done, six out of 12, I've started it, I've ticked things off and um, I'm really clear on what my schedule is in the 70 days that I've got remaining until my GCSE.